Sometimes a little change is good, no? It gives you the opportunity to move ahead in life, to grow and discover, to reach new bolder milestones while still holding true to everything you stand for. IDBI Federal has now changed to AGS Federal. It's the same old company but with a bold new outlook. Hello and welcome to this conversation with somebody who, you know, has done extremely well for India in, she's, she's still so young, I mean, almost a teenager, I mean, already I've interviewed her several times in the last few years. We've seen what she was able to do even when the gun malfunctioned in Tokyo, I was sitting right behind her. For somebody to be able to do that, go out, come in and almost make the final was quite extraordinary. And in recent times, three gold medals and two silver medals in the IWSF uh, Junior World Cup. Fabulous performance. Clearly someone to watch out for for the Asian Games and Paris 24. Manu Bhakar, thank you very much for joining me. First Junior World Cup, three gold medals, two silver medals. Clearly you seem to be back in the rhythm that we know you for. Um, firstly, thank you so much for the introduction. Splendid one. And uh, the Junior World Cup was uh, a really nice experience and this was uh, probably the last junior of my entire career because I'll be turning senior shortly. So it was really special and, and I did well. So Talk to me about it. I, mean, I, I like that smile. I'll turn senior shortly. I mean, you won so many medals already and you're still what? You're not senior yet, Manu. I mean, it's been a glittering career so far. Tokyo notwithstanding, many more medals will come. Abhinav got it in his third, you will get it in your second. So talk to me about the Junior World Cup first. Uh, firstly, the charm of juniors uh, and the junior camps is uh, completely different from the seniors. So uh, in juniors, it's like uh, we are like a whole team. We do everything together. We eat together, we shoot together, we go to the range together. Uh, we work out together, we do everything together, um, we go to the market also together. So it's like um, if you want to go to the market, just go with the team and we'll go at this time and all. So it's really nice to be in a junior camp and in seniors, I think juniors mostly um, prepare us for the seniors, how to, you know, um, the opportunities and the situation that we might have to deal uh, while we turn senior. So I think it's a preparatory thing and in seniors it's like basically you are um, independent and you have to take your own decisions. Um, so pretty much it's similar but different in the group zone. Okay. And, and if I can come to your own career Manu, I mean you've done so well in the Junior World Cup, you've done well in the multidiscipline events. Again, I mean, Olympics uh, will happen at some point in time. Over the next two years, two massive years coming up. I mean, obviously the World Championship is also there, but Asian Games next year, the postponement must have hurt a little bit. But Asian Games next year and Paris in 24. How are you looking at the, the rest of this year and looking forward? Give me a sense of, of where you want to be as an athlete in the next 24 months. Uh, so, the transaction and the transition after the Olympic Games was a little harsh 
and i took some time and now it's like starting from the beginning itself so it's like i have started all over again and uh, the process i am in the process of being uh, so yes the next two years are really really crucial and very important uh, so i'm very much looking forward to all the competitions and especially the asian games world championships and the to, uh, and the olympic games 2024 paris that is uh, i think uh, this entire period of 2 years will might change a lot of things so it okay. will be very very important so so two questions one when you said you know it took time of course it took time because there was such a big build up about tokyo and you were in great form had the gun not mal- malfunctioned who knows i mean we ask these counter questions all the time the what if questions but in your own case i mean even in the even in the mixed with saurabh i remember that first round you all were brilliant so clearly you you have it in you and uh, when when you say it took time how harsh was it because you know and and i'm i'm being critical deliberately we in india we talk about simon biles and mental health and we celebrate that but in your case and i tweeted then also we were rather harsh did that did that sort of impact you was it was it something you thought about or was it only you family parents the recuperation give me a sense of because again at this young age to be to be fighting criticism unfair criticism is not something that you must go through but yet you had to talk to me about that process how hard was it um so the criticism is always harsh and um everyone knows it you know it i know it uh but i think there were a lot of supporters also so i felt really really welcomed and really really comforting when uh, so many people supported me and did not you know just go like ye kyun nahi kiya aise kaise nahi hua matlab um you let us down and all so they were supportive they were encourage uh, they were encouraging me and because obviously people know that i am very young i was 19 years old then i'm 20 now so um it's not just that i was young or anything but specifically i really wanted to do something i wanted to um i don't know i just wanted to do something very badly and in that thing i i started overthinking and all and i just further spoiled it only so the main thing was uh, that i am into olympics i have won in this category for like in every competitions i had gold medals for the past 3 years and then this is the opportunity just grab it and all so uh, my um in order to achieve something for the nation for the people for my people i completely you know kind of i was pressurized i was mentally very taken and so that was really bad and i shouldn't have done that so is that a learning is that i mean when you prepare for the asian games and going into paris is that a learning i mean if definitely is, is, every one of a more mature athlete going forward definitely every step makes us more mature in life may it be a competition or may it be a bad training day so um it was a big learning it was a big lesson so and and overall now you you when you go to an olympic games for example i mean yes you are competing individually for your event but there is the whole macro india picture i mean both of us remember shooting was one of the one of the big sports i remember raninder and i continuously talking tomorrow will be our day how are you looking at the overall scenario because yes you are so young but you still been there now for 4 5 years i mean you've been there done that you won medals how are you looking at indian shooting because even in the junior world cup tremendous performance tremendous performance so give me a sense of where indian shooting is i think shooting is the um, you know very fast developing sport um, in india at least so it's growing so quickly that i um, there was there were only say 1000 or 2 2000 people at max in uh, 2016 ka national games national uh, championship and now if you see it's like in basic state competition or any competition every state competition there are like 2 3 4 thousand people and in nationals there are like 14 15 thousand people so you're competing just not uh, against the best people or um, you know the selected few but everyone so uh, the crowd is increasing people are understanding the you know the mode of this sport the uh, how this sport is 
and they are realizing that you know this is a very very nice sport because in other sports i'm not saying they are bad or anything but you know um age we cannot um we have no age restrictions anyone can shoot me me it be a 60 year old or a 8 year old so um and we don't have any weight restrictions it's very very pretty much um you know a uh, transparent sport so these are the um qualities that something. attracted me something. you just you just talked about the the nature of the sport are you are you disappointed that birmingham doesn't have doesn't have shooting and of course uh, 2026 melbourne doesn't have shooting it's i mean it was supposed to be a one off but all of a sudden we see it's becoming a pattern this is disappointing i mean india should because this is india's sport and we've seen other countries protesting do you see something there that you know someone somewhere should should, should lodge a protest uh see um i am not really the one to say um on the topic but on my views it's just that shooting is a very important sport and it's growing worldwide and yet you are banning the sport or you are like cutting it off for the consecutive two year to you know um commonwealth cycles which is obviously not really fair for the sport you're cutting it off literally and people um we were really looking forward to at least the 2026 wala commonwealth games but then now they have cut it off from there also not just uh, shooting i think many uh, two three uh, other sports also have been cut off wrestling is so well it's a little it'll it's a little disappointing when it comes to the athletes and i think pretty much to the country as well so if okay. the country wants to take a major step against it or on it so i think um major step would be one of the major steps would be you know completely um, boycotting the games and all so if if india wants to take a major step then yeah this is a major step okay okay so clearly there is disappointment and and i understand i mean i absolutely understand and appreciate that as an athlete you can't speak more and and that's very pertinent and very fair uh coming to you know the, the you're already an icon at the age of 20 you're an icon and even come the asian games of 2023 brand manu bhakar will be there 24 paris brand manu will be there does that sound pressure at this age that every competition you go to people like us media academics scholars journalists friends family whole country manu you've got to get us a medal does that or have you gotten used to it i think every athlete loves when people love them uh because it's like if you love people people will love you back um and i really appreciate the people supporting me everyone is so supportive and all so uh every athlete admires when people love them when people expect from them is only when people trust in you if people have faith in me if they trust me uh, uh if they have seen me perform if they uh, trust my abilities then definitely they will be expecting and if they expect then uh, it's not a some some sort of pressure or something but it's just that their affection that they also want us to win they want india to win and they want us to get what we deserve and all so it's basically the support it's just love and support it's how i take it manu tokyo ke baad aapne kuch could change kiya ke i mean just to understand the nuances because for people like us i mean i remember speaking to ronak a lot in tokyo speaking to raminder speaking to you and so on in that mix zone i mean have you changed anything approach mentality technique uh, anything that 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 sort of is different now that you are doing compared to what you used to do earlier uh, firstly experience made things a little more um, easier and secondly i've changed my weapon only i changed it the air pistol one the one that malfunctioned and I, because i asked you this because i remember i mean i was seeing some photographs of your training uh, uh, you know practice uh, stuff in in tokyo and except a couple of shots where you had fired within a couple of seconds everything else was a 10.8 So I was like, "Is it to do with sports science? Is it to do with what?" We were all trying to because it was outstanding in your in your practice regime. So that is why I asked this specific question. Tell me something. I mean, now now that you when when you prepare for the Asian Games now, you now know, right? Twelve months later, and twenty four months later, you have the Olympics. How do you structure it? Is there and now obviously you are coming out of how has 
impacted sort of uh, the last your your trading cycles and going forward what's the plan give me a bit of a road map because i'm trying to also chart the way forward for you uh okay so firstly situation i think um in my case it was okay i was able to manage things also and uh, the government and the authorities made it easier also for all of us the shooters especially so it was okay for us but uh, i think there there are so many people that faced worse situations than all of us than like most of us so um the situation touch wood for me was pretty much okay it was there were there were ups and downs but it was manageable secondly my path is basically i have this spider web so, sort of uh, structure in my head that i will prepare for this camp this competition uh, and this should be done this app has to be done and all there is a basic structure but uh, mostly my main goal has always been the very next competition and the preparation for the very next competition so uh, th- that always goes on first uh, are you happy with the support that you get because in india there is always this problem that you know if uh, we we only try to reward winners at an olympic games or Uh, stuff like that i mean and that's a problem i mean i keep arguing this that take a sindhu or a niraj maybe they don't require that support that somebody else who's coming up the ranks may require i mean a manu you know, for example i mean uh, you know if we are investing in in talent then we must invest across the board and simply not in olympic medal winners are you happy with the kind of support that you are getting from uh, corporate india and government uh firstly india is a developing country and hence the sports system is also developing um after every say some time so it i have seen it change i have seen differences happen and i've seen so many schemes um literally taking up um so there were there were no schemes for the youth the you know the kids and all the struggling people the budding athletes so now we have that also so i think uh, government is constantly thinking about the betterment of sports the indian sportsmanship uh, and the sports people as well the sports person as well so uh, it has um, shown a gradual and uh, major change i would say and it's still growing but i think in seniors earlier we used to have no support system at all some time back but now we Uh, we are starting to have so many camps frequent camps so that we stay in touch with the game so that we have somebody to guide so that we have some bases to train at uh, so i think it's pretty much growing gradually but um, it's for the good and the government schemes and the government support trust me it's really really helping all of us to uh, on everyday basis and to do what we want it's helping us mental health I mean, something like Tokyo happens. Did you get enough support? Yes, you said uh, you know people supported you, but I mean, deep down, uh, are you being very honest with me on that, or or is there more more talk that is required on mental health? Do we as a country need to be far more conscious of athletes' mental health because it's it's a it's a very important subject of concern across the world. Thoughts. uh mental health is a very very heavy um term um i would never say that i require some some uh you know mental sort of um support or anything i mean family is there um and you know you always have people around friends around but it just depends on yourself as well how your attitude is and my attitude personally i do not really require a lot of mental uh, impro- input from uh, the others so i am pretty much very um, easy going and very comfortable on my own as well as in people also so uh, when it comes to mental health yes the government was helping us we had uh, mental trainers also psychologists also uh, who were keeping in touch with us who were within touch i also had a, a mental trainer then also and uh, i think the more simple you keep it the more better it is for you and for the family as well because um see we when we start playing any sport when we start playing anything we enjoy it we want to uh, bring out the best from it and we want to win so we do every possible thing to achieve that but 
after some time after 4 5 6 years we we just see it as a mental pressure to perform it's a mental pressure but earlier it was like we enjoyed in winning we enjoyed in uh, burning out all the calories burning um um you know performing so basically we enjoyed then so now also is the same thing you have to enjoy your sport you love your sport so enjoy it and um, definitely there are certain times when you need some mental guidance something liberating uh then you can definitely be in touch with the the uh, psychologists and everything they are provided by the government the La- top team and last, everything last question man i mean i'm i'm in birmingham at the moment will miss you here during the cwg make no mistake i will be in paris and will cheer you again uh, and 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 celebrate something fantastic that i'm sure is going to happen uh you know and and this is this is the last one i mean you've won almost everything you won world cup gold you won multi discipline gold the youth olympic gold is that the pinnacle is olympic medal the pinnacle of a shooter's career is it still that uh, in india or in your case is it about consistency mostly in my case it's happiness i really like to shoot and i cannot i can barely live without it so it's in my case i really want to just keep shooting 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 for as long as my heart says to shoot i will keep shooting no matter um if i get a olympic medal obviously that is my goal to uh, get the olympic medal as well but it's not like the life doesn't end life goes on and on and on and on but um your priority anyone's priority should be happiness because it's only one life that we get and in us ek life mein bhi agar hum kisi ek cheez ke peeche itna pade rahenge so we will eliminate the happiness out of our lives so uh, my basic thing that uh, the element is happiness the happiness yeah but every athlete definitely wants to you know win the medal for the country and so do i but i Absolutely. make sure to be happy Absolutely. I mean, you are twenty years old, but you definitely are are far more mature uh, than your years. I mean, no doubt about it. And I wish you more success, uh, Manu. I mean, I've I've seen you seen you evolve and flourish as an athlete, and plenty more to come. I wish you more success. I'm sure corporate India and government will back you because you are an incredibly incredibly talented person. And in every possible way, we in the media. will be with you in good and bad thank you very very much thank for joining so much. me in this uh, show backstage with doria and 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 to your family i know your father is a very good friend of mine keep backing keep i mean keep keep being together like the way you are because ultimately there's nothing nothing better than family and support thank you for joining me pleasure to have you on the show thank you so much it was so nice to talk to you